If you have worked with GitHub long enough, you'll realize that moving existing files and directory to a brand new folder is a bit challenging using GitHub's standard web page as shown on the screen here. Let me show you another way to move files and folder to a brand new directory without having to use command prompts, VS Code, Visual Studio or any third party IDE. We have to use something called the GitHub Web Editor. To access it, simply press period or a full stop on your keyboard and you'll navigate to the GitHub Web Editor. The preferred way for me is to open a brand new tab. Let me go back in here. I normally hold shift and press the period button. It'll open a brand new tab for the GitHub Web Editor and I still have access to my repo. If you do not see any files or directory in here, what you do to mitigate that would be to close this, go back to your repo, go to main and select main branch again one more time. And then go to shift and press period or full stop on your keyboard and your files should be accessible. I'm not too sure why it does that. I think it's just a refresh rate or whatnot. But if you have that problem, you can take that step. Another typical problem a lot of people face is with regards to the API rate of limit. Now, if you press shift and press period again one more time, and if you come up with this error message that says API rate limit exceeded for that particular user, what this means is that uh, the GitHub API has been invoked more than 5,000 times within the 60 minutes window. So even if you authenticate with uh, the GitHub, the API will always return 403 as a forbidden message. In a nutshell, this means that you're unable to upload numerous files to the GitHub repository within the allocated 60 minute time frame. This is a typical occurrence in Visual Studio Code as well, where the connection to GitHub is established through GitHub API, as the limitation is imposed at the GitHub API level. With all that troubleshooting skill set and feeling dangerous, let's go back to our GitHub web editor here. Right click over here and on the context menu, you're going to select new folder and go ahead and create a new folder called MSG and hit enter here. And now the intent is to move this particular directory and all this content into this MSG. The way to do it is click and left click and drag into MSG and click on move and you'll move all the file that was in that particular directory. Now, at this point, if you go back to your repo and press F5, you will see that there's no MSG folder quite yet. All you have to do is to do commit and push. The way to access commit and push is go to source control here. You can see there's already 50 changes in there. Click on it. Over here, you're going to enter some change log. I'm going to say organize folder like that. And press close on this here and click on commit and push. After a few brief moments, you can see all the items that was listed for change are all gone. And if you go back to your explorer, you can see that you have a new directory with a doc and there's no A or anything like that. And with that being said, if you go back to your repo and press F5, you can see a new directory called MSG. And inside that directory, there's your doc directory.